Somebody put it to the sea with a thing and thing was now the human to make an outfit. And the day of hanging has come and he was taken to that. And one effort is also being done by some persons before the team and the team may uh, ultimately uh, give an order for the release of the team. And they were waiting that the man who was in charge of the, of the execution and the, the punishment to be executed he was also waiting. And uh, uh, at last the man was <coughs> coming, running with a paper that he told uh, uh, he took. He has shown that paper to that man who was in charge of that execution. And he wrote and told, hang him. It was written back. Actually, the king has stated, delivered that, hang him not, release him. Put a coma also, he commanded. The man who taken down and he taken down the statement, he says, he has he, he, he wrote, hang him, comma, not release him. See how a comma has done <coughs> great punishment to that man. <coughs> and uh, here also. Nowadays, particularly in India. In India, the democracy is not being hacked that happened, or it is not, uh, our courts are not being that much democratized. Why? Mother tongues are being kept aloof from the court. And here, arguments, court proceedings, the ruling of judgment, all are happening in the language in which all plaintiff, respondents, with and witness are ignored. And I am happy that uh, uh, a huge uh, 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 number of advocates did come to this Tavarta River. There is a, uh, uh, another story. It is a, it's a, it's a rich, it's a humor, humor story that uh, uh, because I don't know, I am not a, I am not an advocate, so I don't know uh, anything about the course. I don't know. One day, honorable judge scolded one of the judge. Some for some argument or something. Sometimes it may happen. He scolded uh, one advocate and advocate pleaded to the court, Your Honor, please speak in English. My client is standing outside. <laughs> no, but that is, uh, uh, that, is, that is a lack of transparency. Uh, that is in, in uh, Kerala. <laughs> this story uh, is the expert. Uh, that is what is happening. Okay, anyway, I will speedily go through my article. Uh, on our main points. Fourth is the first and foremost, as well as the final and powerful and destinated for and all who hand off to justice. The judicial system and court as its sanctum sanctorum have been esteemed as the basis of modern democracy. The vision and independent judiciary being an indispensable part of governance and the greatest guarantee of well being of the society plays an important role within the framework of parliamentary democracy and federalism. This is an important point. Federalism. See, in the Tamil Nadu, I met Adunay Safrurwa. Sude. Nasrurwa. Nasrurwa. The name is my guest. See, Nasrurwa has his own religion. Nasrurwa has his own customs. Nasrullah has his own belief and ability. And another man, even a man in the name Joseph, is here. 
Tina Sanso Biso Rinis, Tina Sanso Biso Tastas, Padako, Padako, and Labo, and Silo Mar. And the Silo Mar has also his own religion, his own caste, his own Padako, Padako, Tasta, and Labo. The one that is the only factor. The only and only factor which unites all these persons in the Tamil is nothing but Ammat Tamilaisi. Mother tongue is the one and single fact, one and only factor which unites people who are from different castes, different religion, different creed, different financial positions, different status in the society. That is being forgotten by the woman as well as the bureaucrats. That is why all these injustices are happening even in the field of justice. So it's happening. The predominant administrative hurdle for this is none other than keeping mother tongue of each and every Indian provincial polity aloof from the high edge loads of judicial system. Indeed, the Indian judiciary has seen by the eminent framers of the constitution to be an arm of the social revolution, upholding the equality and dignity of people of India, surveyed law during the colonial days, but it has not been regained as yet. Right to understand is the foundation stone of democracy. Right to understand is the foundation stone of democracy. Legal system has the responsibility to uphold all social and constitutional rights of the society and individuals. Feature of our legal system is that it is based on the adversarial method. See now, adversarial method is the method adopted in the Indian judicial system. That is, two sides of the chronicle of each and every case are presented before an impartial judge. And the judge gives a verdict based on the merits of arguments and evidence of the case. But arguments in the edifice of a court are being carried out in the language ignorant to plaintiff, respondent, and witness. Judgments are being bestowed or rather imposed on in the language unfamiliar and unknown to those concerned. Judges, lawyers, and professionals have jargons of law uh, and they like to talk in the legal jargon like amicus curie, unpromis, colossium, etc. Common normal person in the society does sit down and understand that. In place of amicus curie, the representative of the court can be spelled out. But that Latin word itself that only will be adopted and no uh, uh, translation will be given to the uh, uh, person who is concerned with that case. That's all. Today, my friend advocate Raji from uh, Madurai, he took an incident. He was practicing 10 years before, for almost for 10 years, his Supreme Court. Very good. There, one man, he knows Hindi only. In the session school, Hindi, he was uh, uh, president before the court and the guy is questioning him and the judges are hearing. And good occurrence has happened. At that time, he was not inside that building. He told that in his language, in his mother tongue, he did that my Baha Kamre me nahin tha my Makhan ke Bahar tha Then it was taken down See, all of those being delivered by witness or planted for respondent will be taken down in an alien language of English in the court it has been translated and taken down that he was 
not in the room. He was sent outside the room. Understand, underline that word. He was sent outside the building. He told, I was not in the building, I was standing outside the building. But why translating it? It has been written that he was sent outside the building. Being that okay, you know the difference of these two. Send outside and I was standing outside. <coughs> Today only he has described that it was interesting. <coughs> okay, I will uh, read uh, the uh, avoid something and uh, does the right understand that we please over and over again negated by the country code proceedings including delivering of the Tibet in an alien language, not of the people and country, which is understood only by a handful of elite educated minority. Here the democracy is getting limited. Freedom is being refuted. Hence the struggle to compose. Hence the struggle to compose all constitutional institutions in the language of majority common people he is in truth becoming a part of our independent struggle reloaded. So, you are this Kavdarika, he Kavdarika, in the Poratam, Tamil, Ungar Thai, we are named by the Tamil, Muriyaku, Entras, Poratam, definitely, it should be considered as Independence for the Lord of the Lord. Which has elegant meaning of truth always wins is the national principle of doctor. Country consolidates nation people of very diversity and calling for it. Significance of this principle is attained or fit to be attained by the public. Not through single store autocracy, but only through democratic values. Manifested equally by passing through information and knowledge to one and all by means of their language, for which echelons of law are not also not to be spared. Court is not the first time. Court is also uh, the constitutional uh, uh, institution. Problem facing an Indian judicial system is lack of transparency. Thus, the substantial issues like the quality of justice and accountability are not known properly in the functioning. True vitality of law and justice should always be evaluated in the context of effectiveness in a common man's goal. As the prominent, I know that you know the name, uh, Giorgio del Toshio, the famous, <coughs> I think he, he, his legal books, you might have studied for Bachelor of Law and uh, Masters of Law. Uh, as the prominent Italian legal philosopher of the early 20th century stated, without justice, life would not be possible. And even if it were, it would not be worth living. I am Okay, accountability of the judiciary cannot be seen in isolation. A three judge bench of Delhi High Court, it is an example. A three judge bench of Delhi High Court, in a judgment related with one RPA issue, stated on judicial transparency that well defined and publicly known standards and procedures come complement rather than diminish the notion of judiciary independence. Democracy expects openness and openness is concurrent with the free society. Fourth, concluded. Sunlight is the sunlight is the best disinfect. Sunlight is the best disinfect. Yadaru logo kundala meirikiru dena. Suri roli chadani. Ade, that is Court uh, uh, has stated. Oh, in this context, one more fact also is to be taken care of. It is not relevant whether the court is in the ambit of R3 or not. I don't know fully whether the, I think that Supreme Court is not within the ambit of R3. High courts are also not within the ambit of R3. I don't know. That, is, that point is not relevant. But what's judgment is delivered. 
Once judgment is delivered, any citizen can access using RPA Act from the administrative of the office of the court. Am I right? It is possible. A person, either from Tamil Nadu or Kerala, who knows only his Pagatta, sees for a high court judgment and the final of proceedings, will get those only in English. Will do, get those only in English and alien language to do. Situation will not will be uh, not different from that of a dog which gets a full coconut. The dog gets a coconut what to do. In spite of all developments and in information communication technologies changing the lives of people of the country drastically, the Indian legal system still looks like a pompous British prestige. I repeat that word like a pompous British vestige appearing as belonging to an elite class only and thus quite away from the people and the country. The present system of justice in India keeping away the mother friends of India from the courtyards of high courts and give pleasure to a limited section of the society with Western interest is absolutely out of place, out of time and out of view with the democratic norms can simply in restructuring of judicial procedures so as to convert it understandable and answerable to the needs of a progressive democratic society has become most inevitable. Okay. Then the next point is access to justice. Access to justice is an issue that is attracting more and more attention. By its very nature, the court system is both complex and menacing of course. The questions that are raised there and the issues it handles can have serious consequences for people who go before it, who may find themselves vulnerable and overwhelmed by the proceedings they are facing. Okay. Access to justice is a fundamental right and there is no objective analysis of merits in terms of access to the superior courts in official languages and different regions of the country. And, uh, definitely, uh, Definition of country by constitution as a sovereign democratic republic ensures or intends to ensure liberty, equality, fraternity, and justice to all its citizens. That is not being done. And it is interestingly, interestingly, you should know one more fact that the English people, under whose colonization our nation was, at one stage had the history struggle in streets. Struggles in streets for making their mother tongue English the language of administration and court language. Because in common era 1066, England happened to be under the yoke of Normans. That is French, Normandy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, it continued for 400 years under Norman yoke. And after that only. Okay, uh, yeah, Britain has become free. But even after uh, it has become free, and it, uh, after 200 years, things has not been changed. And oh, in the court, only French and Latin were used. But in the year 1731, George II, he enforced the law that if anybody from the wrong ways in English courts spoke either Latin or French, had to remit. 50 sovereigns to waste punishment. Then things have changed. That is how English became the language of England the course after 1731. This is a fact. And uh, I'm concluding, before concluding, one more important and interesting uh, fact I will also I, I will, I will uh, speak out to you. That is, there is an organization. International organization WJP. WJP now World Justice Protect. World Justice Protector. It is functioning its office in Washington DC, USA. It has conducted every year this day it is conducting how justice is being served and is how justice is being delivered to each and every country language they are conducting survey. In the year 2016. WJP has conducted a survey in 113 countries all over the world and they have published their report uh, that I have the full data uh, after the table in which India comes only in the uh, 66th position. 
out of 130 countries, India is, I think, 66th position is, it is shameful for India. How, how justice is being delivered to the common people of uh, country? That is, that was being surveyed by WJP, World Justice Protect. You can simply search in the Google WJP, then the WJP website will come and in that 2016 report, you just uh, click a video copy is available, just go through that, you can. 210 pages are there. That is, uh, even uh, uh, in, in my article, I have uh, consolidated that, that portion only. Okay, the report observed the effective rule of law reduces corruption, combines power of the NPCs, and protects people from injustices, large and small. It is the basis for communities, peace, opportunity, and equality, underpinning development, accountable development. Respect for fraternal rights. The WJP had adopted eight parameters, namely constraints on government powers, absence of corruption, open government, fundamental rights, order and security, regulatory enforcement, civil justice, and criminal justice. Eight parameters they have adopted for this survey, or rather, which one? And in that, in constraints of on government always, India was at 35. Absence of corruption, India again gone down 69. Open government, because it's a democracy system, India came at the 28th position. Fundamental rights, see, fundamental rights, India is in the position 81. And overall security, India is at 104. Civil justice, India is at 93. Criminal justice, India is at 73. Okay. Almost in all these five days, India went down, but failed miserably and pathetically in the federal points of fundamental rights, overall security, regulatory enforcement and services. Okay, so I have to And I am concluding. Because I, I don't know whether I have taken more time, but uh, the Rajiv from Madurai has told that uh, I will get the 45 minutes, that is why I, I have prepared this article and came. Anyway, uh, as we have spoken, that is, you say that a new uh, mother friend in the course, uh, in the lower course as well as in the higher course, in, in the inner field of justice, not in the inner field of justice is on human right. This is fundamental right. This is right to access for justice. This is right for transparency in justice. Anyway, uh, that is uh, uh, one 